Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 22nd of January 2021. Thanks for joining me. I want to use the modern witch tarot for today's reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about Friday the 22nd and what energy you'll be working with. Now the first thing that I notice is that 22 is the master number of the builder. So this day really has the potential for you to create something meaningful and long term in your life. So it could be proposing to your partner you want to cement a relationship or starting a new job or launching your own business or applying for new work it can be anything that you want to build on in future and we've got the ace of pentacles here which is lovely that's an opportunity to really build something concrete then we've got the knight of cups and the king of cups Wow, okay. So the Ace of Pentacles is a blessing from the universe. This disembodied hand comes out of the cloud and it says, here you go, have a giant pentacle. It's abundance, it's a feeling of prosperity, like you have options, that if you think it and believe it and feel it, then it can be done. So it's this great attitude, this can-do spirit, enthusiasm, motivation, and pentacles in itself is the element of earth. That's a feminine element, so it's about making a dent in your environment. So changing your surroundings, travel, um, paying for a designer and having your house done up and um, beautified. The Ace of Pentacles represents money and your physical experience here on planet Earth. So that includes your body, your health, your daily routine, um, your daily structure when it comes to your working life, if you're retired, what it is you're working on. So this blessing can come in in a number of ways. It can be the inspiration to paint, or it can be um, a windfall and the finances to um, do the garden or to hire a gardener and make it more beautiful. It can be uh, the resolution of some sort of bill or tax problem that you've had coming to a close with you ending up in a really good position financially. So in terms of your practical circumstances, things are looking rosy, things are looking really positive, and you can do something about your experience here on planet Earth. So if you don't like the fact that you have to get up at six in the morning, or that you just eat junk food every day, if you're if you've got something in your daily experience or even an addiction and you want to do something about that that um, habit or that factor in your life, maybe you want to remove it or if you go to the gym, maybe you want to do even more of that. You really have the ability to work with that and you don't feel a huge amount of pressure. So it's okay to be you. It's okay to live your life. You're not um, running around trying to put out fires today, you really get the, the time and the space to have a look around your life and to say, hmm, I really like this, I'm going to build on this and make it bigger, or this is something that I've outgrown, I don't like this anymore, I'm going to try and minimize that out of my life. So with the number 22 as well, you really have the opportunity to cement some real changes into your everyday experience so that you can start living the kind of life that you want to live. It really feels like a gift and like things are malleable and adaptable and you can tweak things so that your experience is a much happier one. We've also got this halo around the pentacles, so it kind of looks like a sun. So this is empowering. The sun is the center of our solar system in terms of your body, the center of your chakra system, your solar system is the um, the solar plexus chakra, and that is the sun. And it's really what gives you a sense of power and energy in life. Like you can wake up in the morning and get things done and have the kind of day that you want. That's the blessing of the day that you really feel empowered and that you can make your life whatever you want it to be. The Knight of Cups is a court card and she's trying to figure out how to deal with the element of cups. That has to do with love, it has to do with charity, self-love, connection with other people, spirituality, feeling like you belong. And she is trying to figure it out because she is extreme in her moods and in her feelings. So sometimes she falls in love, um, love at first sight, 
and the guy or the woman becomes an obsession and she sends flowers and throws little pebbles at the window and writes poetry and she's just so in love and then it fizzles out and it goes poof and she's um, on to the next person and she's left kind of scratching her head thinking what was that about it's so intense and it didn't go anywhere at other times she may be um, expected to be there for other people she may be expected to feel certain things so she's part of a family and um, granddad passes away then there's an expectation that she uh, is grieving and that she's going to show up for the funeral and that she'll be there for other family members but because she's so extreme she may not feel that at all and not show up to the funeral and then wonder why everyone's getting upset with her because she wasn't feeling it it didn't feel authentic to her so she didn't show up so the knight of cups is unpredictable and all this financial and real life security that you've got may feel a little bit weird because it may be something that's totally new to you and it may be the first time that you're being asked what you actually want out of life. And that may feel very odd. You may have always just gone to work 40 hours a week because you've had bills to pay and the kids to feed and it's been a quite an urgent situation and you've never questioned what you're doing because you've just put the left foot in front of the right foot and you've done what needs to be done and now you get this major luxury of getting a bit of a time out in terms of your life and it's like what do you want to do you're not under constant pressure and it may feel a little bit unusual to you now if you face those feelings and if you say okay well I've never been here before but I'm going to try and find a way forward I'm going to try and find some balance here then you really will find the balance because we've got the King of Cups. And if you uh, work with your own emotions and emotional uncertainty, you'll learn from that. You'll see things for what they truly are. You'll graduate from being the Knight of Cups. You'll feel less extreme and you'll reach a new plateau. The King of Cups sitting on this stone throne here, which floats miraculously. So it's real emotional security. So the 22 doesn't just apply to building something amazing in a real world sense, a new business, um, creating a new design, making a new piece of clothing. It also means building something emotionally that you can fall back on because today you are able to deal with something that doesn't feel familiar and that you're not certain about, but rather than checking out or engaging in some behavior which alters your feelings, you feel your feelings, you work through them, and you reach this point of stability, the King of Cups, where you've got a doorway and it's your practicality combined with your emotional awareness of resilience and understanding that you're really able to devote yourself to situations and do something with them that eventually have a really beneficial outcome for you. So it could be that because you're so emotionally stable and secure, and remember water is also a feminine element so it's about making an impression there so it's your emotional stability and your um, real world security that allows you to really overcome your own emotional uh, lack of experience and to do something really positive for yourself and your life or it could be that you are in a good place practically that you do have some emotional things which which require um resolution so you need to tie up some loose ends and that the willingness to do that actually raises your vibration and teaches you something and lifts you permanently so that you do become emotionally more resilient and you understand yourself better and that is a permanent thing that you do on this day for yourself so either way you're winning whether you're in a good place already and working with your real world circumstances to create something fabulous or you're not in such a great place, but you work through it, you overcome it, and you're able to build emotional and financial security for yourself. So it certainly is the day of the builder, and you'll be very productive, and you'll get a lot done. Number-wise, we've got an ace card, which counts as one, and two court cards, they also count as one. So three ones is three. Three is about communication and new beginnings. And it's because you're so connected to the world and to yourself that you can really start something new and graduate your existing circumstances and replace them with something much better. 
So I really think that it's the latter. It's um, by looking at what you've already got and looking to the future and looking how you can move ahead and progress, that that elevates you and takes you to a whole different place in your life where you've never been because you just haven't had the growth. And today you do the work, you grow, and you grow into a new, more rewarding position in your life. So anyone who struggles with um, their moods or with um, emotional things that hold you back from doing things in the real world, today you're able to combine those two factors and really you're able to thrive and progress in a way that you haven't been able to in the past. So it looks amazing. Have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing Friday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.